Alrighty, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of After the Buzzer. We had just two remarkable games today, but we do have to start out with the Clippers and Jazz because that was just the most insane game. Jazz were up by, what, 20-something at some point in the game, and the Clippers came back without Kawhi, of course. I did expect the Jazz to win this game uh, just because it was an elimination game. The Clippers were, with, were without their best player. The Jazz had Mike Conley back this game, um, and I, ju I just thought that, that they would have been able to just finish out and through halftime and through the third quarter it looked like they were doing exactly that they were up by 25 to 30 points in that area and throughout the fourth quarter the Clippers just went on this huge huge run and I, I, I don't know how they did it they out, they scored 41 points in the third quarter then they scored 40 in the uh, fourth quarter they outscored them by about 20 in each quarter and they just made the comeback they won 131 to 119 but the man of the day was Terrence Mann he was off to a great start. He had like the Clippers first 10 points and he just decided to keep shooting the ball. He ended up being seven for 10 from three and he had 39 points. That was his probably, I don't really, I mean, I I don't think, I I don't know his career high, but it had, that had to be his career high. And he just stepped up so much defense. We know that he's basically in, at least I think he's only in for the defensive part of the side, but he ended up just deciding to drop nearly 40 points. Um, I think Paul George had 28 and Reggie Jackson at 27. Those That was the big three. That was the KD, Kyrie, and Harden for the Clippers last night. It was uh, Reggie Jackson, Paul George, and Terrence Mann. And there was no Game 7. I really thought that there would be three Game 7s. I mean, it was kind of insane. I mean, we had, of course, the Suns sweeping the Nuggets, so they were they already clinched. Um, but we had the Sixers and Hawks now going to a 7, which we'll get to later. The Nets and Bucks Game 7 is tonight. And I thought that this game was going to... I thought that the Jazz were going to win. We, were, we would have another Game 7. But the Clippers just were able to complete the insane comeback that I thought that, that they would not be able to do. And the Clippers are moving on to the next round. We know the Western Conference Finals matchup. Game 1 is actually tomorrow at 1 o'clock. I was going to do a, a full Conference Finals review, but it looks like we'll have to do just the Western Conference Finals because the Game 7 for the Hawks and Sixers is actually after that. So... We do have the podcast, actually, the episode one of the podcast dropping later tonight, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Moving on to the next game, Sixers and Hawks. The Sixers ended up pulling away by 5 points, 104 to 99. The, the Sixers were in control for most of the game, honestly. The Hawks kind of came back. Trae Young, were, were, they, he was hitting some insane shots, but um, it was not enough. It was, uh, it was basically Seth Curry once again. He was 6 for 9 from 3. And he had 24 points and beat at 24. Tobias Harris with 24. Simmons has not been doing good at all. I will say, he has not been doing good at all. He only had 6 points this game. He's going to have to step up on both sides of the floor. Now, he do he was having some good defensive plays here and there. But, I mean, he's got to he's just got to be better on the offensive end. Because he cannot drop only 6 points and expect his team to win. It was a close game, but the Hawks cannot pull it out. Um, we're going to a Game 7. That's tomorrow, like I said, after Game 1 of the Suns and Clipper series. But we'll see who pulls away with that. I'm guessing it's probably going to be the Sixers, is my guess. But like I said, Trey Young was insane late in that game. He had 34 points again. He was the playmaker out there once again with seven, with seven, uh, sorry, 12 assists. Um, Kevin Herter had 17 and 11 rebounds, and off the bench, Kalinari stepping up. These he's been stepping up in these playoffs. He had 16 points. But that is probably going to wrap up the video. The Hawks end up losing, and the Sixers win, uh, meaning we do have a game seven. Uh, coming like i said tomorrow and the nets bucks game seven is tonight but the clippers complete the comeback over the jazz and we know of a suns clippers confirmed western conference finals matchup so that'll be tomorrow at 1 30 or i guess 3 30 eastern time but that will wrap up the video hope you guys enjoyed have a great day stay tuned for the podcast later tonight peace